Hey, I'm Ian Gautrin um, from Dana Point, California. So uh, this board is a Mayhem Round Nose Fish Retro. Works super good right now, it's so fast. It works really good on the point breaks. I had Matt shape me this just because I knew I was going to fast barreling right point breaks and this thing's super rippable waves too. This thing's super easy to just rip the bag out of any wave pretty much, especially if it's a little on the softer side, which is kind of how it is here. It's like a weird, like there's like a pocket and then like right when you get out like to the shoulder, it's just super, super mushy, but so you can get little tubes, come out, do little cutbacks. It's quad fins make you go ultra fast. Yeah, it's a uh, 5'2", 19 and 3 quarters, 2 and a quarter. Yeah, this thing's nice. It's so short. The short rail line just lets you just dig into the carves way easier on the smaller waves, especially fit into the tighter pockets of the barrel. This thing works super sick. Yeah, so I pull, we pulled up and it was probably like four to five foot maybe and just kind of reeling pretty much, just barrels and it would kind of mush out and double up and barrel again. And I instantly thought like this is definitely the board. This is shaped by Donald Brink and it's an asym, uh, asymmetrical fish. It's basically like, he took it off of like a traditional fish outline and kind of just tweaked it. Yeah, epoxy, super light. This is definitely my favorite board by far. It's so fast and just cut through the water so nicely. Yeah, this thing's crazy. When Donnie, when he first like gave it to me, I was like, kind of tripping out on it. I was like, what, like, what is this? And kind of, I was skeptical on bringing it. And I eventually, I was just like, whatever, I'll bring it. And it just had, turned out to be just insane. I was so, so stoked I brought it. Donnie shaped it so the toe side of the rail is definitely, it's more like pinched. So you can like bottom turn way easier and it'll like hold it, hold its bottom turn way better. And then the back side, it's a little more rounder, softer, forgiving rail, so you don't like bog rail as much, which definitely helps a ton when you're, especially surfing a perfect right point break. Make yourself look a little, look a little better than you're actually surfing. If you look at this side, it's basically just a standard thrust or uh, swallowtail fish, and this side's like basically a just a pulled in, a little more pulled in, like shortboardy rail, short body rail, and these fins are super sick too. Hand foiled by him in his in Capo Beach. Thing worked insane, got a couple of just really fun, really nice carves on it. This one, this is definitely my favorite shortboard right now. It's Tyler Warren Thruster. All right, so I chose this one to ride in Mexico just because I knew it was gonna be a point break, just standard tubing, perfect point break. And this board is just super fast, fishtail a little more for like a little smaller-ish waves, pretty much. So uh, this board's 5'11", 19, or 18 and 3 quarters by 2 and 5 sixteenths, and it's just my perfect, perfect size. I was super stoked, Tyler, uh, he gave it to me just because it was a hair thin for him, so I was stoked to be able to steal this thing off of him. It's a super simple board. It's got just kind of tuned down rails, flat-ish deck, a lot of thickness in the nose, which I like a lot. All my shortboards are like, a little thicker in the nose, just for paddling and just weight. When there's a lot of, when there's more weight up here, it definitely helps you when you like are coming around and you want to like throw more spray. Pretty simple. It's got single, single all the way through, with a lot of flip out of the tail, which is perfect for the board like this and a wave of Mexico. Definitely, I'll choose this board when it's probably a little bigger and a little more like fat when the waves a lot faster because it holds it holds a lot better it doesn't slide out and when you're bottom turning you don't get that like kind of like chattering feeling you know which feels really it's nice because this board's super super smooth it surfs just how 
Tyler surfs pretty much, just buttery smooth and just super sick.